semester 5 paper number 11 is cytology and research techniques in biology in this unit number 2 is cell organelles today we will see about nucleus and mitochondria the cell is a structural and functional unit of living organisms it is surrounded by plasma membrane inside which it contains protoplasm cell contains endomembrane system and membrane bound organelles in the cytoplasm to perform different roles in the cell eukaryotic cells are with nucleus nuclear envelope and it is separated from the cytoplasmic system cell membrane cytoplasm and nucleus are present in common limiting structure called as a cell wall cell contains one two or many nuclei it may be uninucleate binucleate or multinucleate ultra structure of the nucleus consists of nuclear pore nuclear membranes perinuclear space chromatin material chromocenter endosomes nucleolus and nucleoplasm we will see the detailed structure of nuclear envelope in all eukaryotic organism nucleus is surrounded by nuclear envelope it separates the nucleus from cytoplasm as well as helps in the communication between nucleus and cytoplasm under electron microscope it shows outer and inner lipoproteinaceous membrane it is 75 to 90 angstrom and 0.1 nanometer in thickness the two membranes are separated by a space of 100 angstrom which is called as perinuclear space outer membrane is rough with ribosomes inside the nuclear membrane there is a fibrous lamina it is with 300 angstrom it is interrupted by nuclear pores which are 600 angstrom the pores are enclosed by circular structures known as annuli these pores and annuli together forms pore complex pores are with thin membrane to perform the function of permeability then we will see structure of nuclear pore complex the section passing through the nuclear pore region contains electron dense rings within the pore which are called as a annulus opening of nuclear pore is annulus cavity the annulus extends both into cytoplasm and nucleoplasm cross section view of pore complex shows peripheral ring nuclear envelope nucleoplasm spoke central plug cytoplasmic particles this slide shows the detailed structures in nuclear pore complex it shows hollow cylinder annular material extend laterally beyond the pore margin pores are with 8 granules of 150 angstrom diameter it consists of central granule fine fibrils and cart fill like structure pores are octagonal in shape and the annulus of the pore is composed of amorphous matrix which consists of granules and thin filaments nuclear pore is a complex with many elements which form vertical scaffold consisting ring of cytoplasmic particles at the top nucleoplasmic lamina at the base material and these two are connected by thick spokes each ring shows units and in the center of ring there is a large particle form plug eight radical spokes extend from the plug 
to the rings on both the sides as every region in the complex consists of eight units entire structure shows octagonal symmetry central plug acts as a transporter to carry out the transport during nucleocytoplasmic interactions the structure looks like basket with base attached to nucleoplasm and upper part to the cytoplasm nuclear envelope after removing lipids and other particles pore complexes remain attached to each other by mesh like nuclear fibrous lamina from the fragments of er during cell division develop new nuclear envelope in the daughter cells see this slide it shows functions of nuclear membrane it is limiting structure between nucleus and cytoplasm it separates the genetic material from the protein synthesizing organelle in the cytoplasm it protect dna from action of cytoplasmic enzymes nuclear membrane is a selective diffusion barrier through the pores in the nuclear membrane nucleocytoplasmic exchanges takes place for example exchange of ribosomal subunits ribonucleoproteins synthesized in the nucleus pass through the pore region structural elements of the cytoplasmic microtubules are attached to the nuclear envelope some microfibrils are also attached to this nuclear envelope during the interphase the condensed chromatin regions remain attached to the nuclear membrane nuclear envelope and endoplasmic reticulum is useful for formation of the membranes of other cell components for example golgi complex ribosomes are present at outer surface of nuclear envelope carry out protein synthesis antibody production lysosomal enzyme synthesis peroxidase activity all these are the functions of nuclear membrane then another part present in the nucleus is nucleus matrix or nuclear matrix and nucleoplasm nuclear envelope contains complex system called as a nucleoplasm which is with uncondensed chromatin or euchromatin dna and protein it is the dispersed part of the chromosomes during interphase it shows chromocenters along with twisted filament of chromatin it is the part of chromosomes which remain condensed at interphase and called as heterochromatic region these are present near nuclear envelope or nucleolus euchromatin and heterochromatic regions together represents chromosome they are enclosed by nuclear envelope nucleoplasm shows nucleolus which is spherical heterochromatin containing dark staining bodies with dna region it is essential for synthesis of ribosomes granules with rna and nuclear sap the nuclear sap or matrix is with dna's rna's and proteinaceous nuclear material nuclear matrix attached to the nuclear envelope forms nuclear lamina the mesh like fibrous structure contains protein fibers called as a lamins a lamins b lamins c structure of lamins is like a protein nuclear matrix is a nucleoskeleton which develop mechanical support to the nucleoplasm functions of nuclear matrix it contains chromatin material 
it carries out mrna and ribosomal units synthesis it is genetic and hereditary material which is present in form of dna molecules it control vital activities of the cell with the help of mrna and dna molecules it plays useful role in interface cell division it forms nucleoskeleton helpful for spreading of entire nuclear region in this slide we will study about the dna packaging in the eukaryotes dna packing in eukaryotes consist of dna and histones along with nucleosome this dna packaging in eukaryotes shows higher level of organization in nucleus nucleoplasm contains number of thread like coiled elongated chromatin materials or fibers it is uniformly dispersed part of the chromosome during mitosis and meiosis fibers become thick ribbon like structures which are called as a chromosomes chromatin appears as viscous gelatinous substance containing dna rna basic proteins and non histone proteins the dna and histones are present in fixed ratio that is 1 as to 1 dna is the main genetic material which carries genetic information in a coded form from one generation to next generation dna complexed with protein to form chromatin all the cells in an organism contain dna provided that they are diploid eukaryotes consist of more dna than the prokaryote organisms histones are small proteins and basic in nature containing arginine and lysine basic amino acids it binds tightly to the dna eukaryotic chromosome consist of five different histones lysine rich h1 slightly lysine rich proteins h2a and h2b arginine rich h3 and h4 core histone proteins include h2a h2b h3 and h4 which are used for holding together dna molecules lysine rich h1 involved in higher order folding of chromatins so this is about dna packaging in eukaryotes which consist of histone proteins and dna in this slide we will study about nucleosome and higher level of organization in the nucleus in the interface nucleus chromatin dna and histones are present during cell division nucleus shows some changes in the nuclear envelope and nucleolus this appeared the structure of nucleolus and chromatin becomes condensed into dark staining bodies that is chromosomes are developed chroma means color and soma means body these chromosomes are indistinct during interphase when nucleus prepares for the cell division the dispersed fo form get condensed and it shows changes in the chromatin material it form fine granular fibers of 10 nm diameter then it shows thick chromatin fibers and finally chromatin fibers become chromosomes under electron microscope chromatin material shows repeating structure of beads connected by string of dna which is used to develop chromosomes the repeating unit in the 
टेन एन एम फाइबर्स आर कॉल्ड न्यूक्लियोसोम्स द न्यूक्लियोसोम्स कंटेन रिपीटिंग यूनिट ऑफ क्रोमैटिन विथ टू हंड्रेड बेस्ट पेयर्स ऑफ डी एन ए क्वाइल्ड अराउंड ए हिस्टोन ऑक्टोमर मेडअप ऑफ हिस्टोन्स एच वन एच टू ए एच टू बी एच थ्री एंड एच फोर द न्यूक्लियोसोम ए फ्लैट डिस्क शेप्ड पार्टिकल इलेवन एन एम इन डायमीटर एंड फाइव पॉइंट सेवन एन एम इन हाइट द न्यूक्लियोसोम आर कनेक्टेड बाय लिंकर डी एन ए फीच फॉर्म्स टू कंप्लीट टर्न्स अराउंड हिस्टोन ऑक्टोमर्स एंड दीज टर्न्स आर सील्ड ऑफ बाय एच वन हिस्टोन मोलिक्यूल द लिंकर डी एन ए मोलिक्यूल्स एंटर्स एंड एग्जिट्स द न्यूक्लियोसोमल साइट्स क्लोज टू ईच अदर एंड टू टर्न्स ऑफ डी एन ए आर स्टेबिलाइज बाय एच वन हिस्टोन मोलिक्यूल द हिस्टोन प्रोटीन विच इज विदाउट डी एन ए फैन सील ऑफ द टर्न ऑफ डी एन ए अराउंड द न्यूक्लियोसोम्स प्रोड्यूसेस द बीड्स ऑन स्ट्रिंग एपियरेंस टू एंटायर स्ट्रक्चर डी एन ए एंटर्स एंड लीव द न्यूक्लियोसोम्स एट रैंडम प्लेसेस एच वन हिस्टोन ऑन वन न्यूक्लियोसोम can interact with h1 histone on neighboring and this leads to further folding of the fibers in such folded fibers the packing of dna is 5 to 7 times more compact than free dna in the chromatin in interface nucleus This figure shows nucleosomes showing linker DNA and H1 histones. Two turns of linker DNA per nucleosome are present in the nucleosomes. The packing of DNA required for metaphase chromosome can be achieved by folding of the fibers. During cell division, 20 nm to 30 nm thick and inactive fibers are present the 30 nm fibers contain closely packed nucleosomes the 30 nm fiber develop from folding of the nucleosome chain into solenoid structure with six nucleosomes per turn this structure is the next higher level of organization in nucleus the chromatin fibers h1 histone molecules this type of folding is possible by interaction between h1 molecules in neighboring nucleosomes h1 molecules can interact with each other as they are located in the central hole of the solenoid and forms condensation of chromatin fiber the dna of 30 nm solenoid has packing that is 40 times more than the dna in the interface nucleus the dna of metaphase chromosome is packed between 5000 to 10000 times that is 30 nm fiber must be folded more than 100 times during mitosis this slide shows solenoid model so packing of nucleosomes is present in this solenoid model the structure non histone protein are involved in organizing the 30 nm chromatin fibers into loops then scaffold or central core is present which is surrounded by rings of dna it consists of non histone proteins it is useful to maintain shape of metaphase chromosome each metaphase chromosome has two scaffolds one for each chromatid they are connected at centromere region so chromosome showing two chromatids see this structure it shows telomere centromere matrix of protein condensed loops of the thick chromatin fiber each metaphase chromosome has two scaffolds one for each chromatid 
they are connected at centromere it shows loops like structure loops of dna which are anchored to the non histone proteins in the scaffold with 25 mm size and 75000 base pairs the loops of dna becomes condensed and changes its length from 30 nm fiber to 0.6 mm the coiled chromatin fibers can be observed clearly under electron microscope in trilobium and tradescantia the loops observed in the metaphase chromosomes remains throughout the cell cycle and represents the higher level of organization of nucleosomes then we will start to study the next cell organelle called as mitochondria the important cell organelle mitochondria is used for energy transformation in the cells and living system mitochondria are present in plants and present in animals by oxidative phosphorylation process it releases energy from different types of food molecules and transform the energy into other forms it was first observed by fleming and kolliker in 1882 it was first known as bioblast or altman the term mitochondria was introduced by scientist benda in 1898 these are present in all eukaryotic cells but not distinct in prokaryotes it is not distinct in bacterial cell or blue green algae so the respiratory enzymes are present in the plasma membrane in prokaryotes in bacterial cell in blue green algae respiratory enzymes are present in the plasma membrane in eukaryotes respiratory enzymes are present in mitochondria they are described as a power house of the cell mito means thread chondrion means granules these are club or vesicle shaped granular filamentous bodies present in plants and animals it shows cylindrical membrane bound structure from 1 mm to 7 mm in diameter and 0.05 mm in width mitochondria shows increase in their number near periphery of the cell near spindle during the cell division in meristematic cell young cell in pollen tube and surrounding to the nucleus the number of mitochondria is large it is very less in special cell structural organization it is less in plant cells in some animal cells like liver cells it shows 1000 to 1600 number it is with special cell structural organization lipoproteins enzymes coenzymes which are useful to interact and produce energy transformation in the living cells oocytes shows 3 lakh mitochondria these are observed under light microscope using janus green stain this figure shows ultra structure of mitochondria in this outer inner membrane outer inner chambers f1 particles christi structures mitochondrial dna ribosomes and cytosol is present which is represented by c and matrix matrix side means m 
in the inner membrane cytosol and matrix are present the electron microscope studies indicate that mitochondria consist of two membranes forming mitochondrial envelope both the membranes are made up of lipoprotein it shows bimolecular layer with thickness 6 nm two membranes are separated from each other by 6 to 8 nm space called as perimitochondrial space the outer membrane is smooth and surrounds the mitochondrion the inner membrane projects into mitochondrial cavity in the form of complete infoldings called as mitochondrial cristi it do not interrupt the internal cavity as they are in the form of complete the inner membrane is with outer compartment in the form of space between two membrane and inner compartment is gel like proteinaceous material containing structure called as mitochondrial matrix it is homogeneous in nature filamentous or with small granules this matrix consists of ribosomes and dna under electron microscope the inner membrane in the cristi region shows stocked particles called as f1 particles or elementary particles which are with structure of head and stalk there is space of 10 nm in between two particles these are considered as special atps involved in coupling of the oxidative and phosphorylation reactions for energy conservation f1 particles are present on the matrix site which are responsible for asymmetrical surface of the inner membrane it is related to flow of protons during oxidative phosphorylation mitochondria includes enzymes required for krebs cycle metabolic reaction the matrix contains dna rna and enzyme required for mitochondrial protein synthesis respiratory chain and oxidative phosphorylation so mitochondria shows biogenesis process and origin origin and biogenesis of the mitochondria is represented in this slide by division from parent mitochondria new mitochondria are formed for example neurospora by de novo synthesis from simple building blocks new mitochondria are get developed for example in yeast cells typical type of mitochondria are absent and fragment or folded membranes are present yeast cell without mitochondria are placed under anaerobic condition the existing folded mitochondrial membrane fuse unfold and form true mitochondria structures it contains respiratory chain components like this de novo synthesis forms new mitochondria then origin from pro mitochondria the pro mitochondria are tiny particles present in cytoplasm with double membrane structure from these pro mitochondria new mitochondria are get developed it may be originated from the nucleus outer layer of nuclear envelope grows and form vesicles which are released in the cytoplasm then small 
new mitochondria are get developed from the nucleus so its origin may be from nucleus mitochondria plays very important role in the cell respiration in the glycolysis it occurs outside the mitochondria it converts glucose into pyruvic acid the hydrogen pairs enter in the mitochondria and processed by electron transport system for the synthesis of atp then the next role is oxidative decarboxylation in this pyruvic acid is degraded to acetyl coenzyme a by oxidation and decarboxylation during this hydrogen is removed during decarboxylation co2 is removed the hydrogen enters in ets and it is oxidized there in the krebs cycle degradation of acetyl coenzyme a into oxaloacetic acid and release of four hydrogen pairs and one atp takes place hydrogen pairs enters in the ets so macromolecular complex for oxidative phosphorylation is present in mitochondria which shows electron transport system hydrogen pairs released in the glycolysis oxidative decarboxylation krebs cycle are oxidized in the ets system to produce h2o and atp with the help of enzymes present in mitochondria so macromolecular complex for oxidative phosphorylation is one important process to produce the electron transport system to produce the atp molecules with the help of enzymes so this is one important role in the cell respiration mitochondria plays important role in glycolysis oxidative decarboxylation krebs cycle and in ets this process takes place with the help of complex structures complex 1 consist of nadh complex 2 consist of succinate ubiquinone reductase complex 3 is with qh2 ubiquinone dehydrogenase cytochrome c reductase then it also consist of eight subunits containing cytochrome b1 and c1 and iron sulfur proteins which accept electrons from reduced ubiquinone and transfer them to the next complex complex 4 consist of cytochrome c oxidase containing polypeptides copper atoms cytochrome a cytochrome a3 to transport protein across the membrane then function of complex 4 is conservation of energy complex 5 consist of f1 particles f1 particle shows head and stalk regions atpase enzyme complexes first second and four are coupled with the f1 particle in such a way that they release energy during transfer of electrons it is conserved in atp molecules using adp and ip that is adenosine diphosphate and inorganic phosphates there are three coupling sites between atp complexes and first third and fourth complexes only two sites between complex 2 and atpase complex all these complexes are organized inside the mitochondria in such a way that ordered reactions occur to liberate the energy in the food molecule flow of electrons and proteins during oxidative reactions is from higher level to the low level of the energy which is towards oxygen level like this complex first second third 
फोर एंड फाइव फाइव कॉम्प्लेक्स स्ट्रक्चर्स आर प्रजेंट इन द माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया टू फॉर्म द एनर्जी इन द फूड मोलिक्यूल्स एनर्जी सप्लाई इज द मेन फंक्शन ऑफ माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया द मेन फंक्शन इज परफॉर्म विद द हेल्प ऑफ डिफरेंट कॉम्प्लेक्स स्ट्रक्चर्स प्रेजेंट इन द माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया दीज स्ट्रक्चर्स आर यूजफुल टू रिलीज द एनर्जी बाय स्टेप वाइज ऑक्सीडेशन ऑफ फूड मोलिक्यूल्स एंड कॉन्जर्वेशन ऑफ द रिलीज एनर्जी इन फॉर्म ऑफ हाई एनर्जी फॉस्पेट बॉन्ड्स ऑफ ए टी पी मोलिक्यूल्स बाय फॉस्पोराइजेशन प्रोसेस एज माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया सिंथेसाइज द एनर्जी रिच कंपाउंड्स द सेल ऑर्गनली इज कॉल्ड एज पावर हाउस ऑफ द सेल बिकॉज द एनर्जी रिक्वायर्ड फॉर मेटाबोलिक रिएक्शंस इज प्रोवाइडेड बाय माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया एम्बेडेड इन द साइटोप्लाजम इट सप्लाइज ए टी पी टू मेटाबोलिक रिएक्शंस like this mitochondria and nucleus these two cell organelles are very important cell organelles in the cell thank you